The first step when we're dealing with this particular trainer is we want to make sure that the access panel is closed. So we're going to come across to all four of these handles and we are going to make sure they are closed. Now a little tip for you is don't try to open this door with these two handles in the closed position. You're going to break something. So if we do want to open the access panel later on in the project, we can make sure that these are in the open position. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that these are all in the closed position. Now the next step is we want to come over to the dampers here and using this handle and this arrow as our guideline, we want to make sure that we open it to the half open position which is indicated by the half circle here. So we're going to come across with the arrow point to the half circle and you can notice there's other signs and pictures here. Fully open would be the full circle, three quarters open. We're going to position the handle to the half open position uh, initially and we'll see the louvers here are open for that. Then we're going to come across over here to the VFD drive and using our left hand rule we are going to look away and turn the VFD on and we're going to give it a sec to warm up and what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be adjusting and recording the data off of this VFD uh, by adjusting the Hertz as we know that as the Hertz cycles through a system as it ramps up ramps down will increase and decrease the speed of the motor so right now we have zero percent static pressure we're going to first depress the hand button okay and now we can freewheel the Hertz so the first setting we're going to go down to is 18 Hertz so I'm going to hit the arrow the down arrow till it reads 18 Hertz Give it a second. Okay, we're at 18 hertz now. Now this is the motor speed. The motor is turning currently at 30%. And our static pressure in inches of water column right now is reading at 0.85. 87, it's going to cycle. Now, we will let this number somewhat cycle, somewhat settle down before we go on to the next step. So now it's fluctuating around 0 0.9, 0 0.91, 0 0.92. So that tells me it's settled at 30% speed, 18 hertz. What we're going to do now is we're going to go down to table one. And across table one, we're going to see that the first hertz setting is 18. We're going to come over to menu, depress the menu button. Parameters is lit up. We're going to depress the menu button, or excuse me, the enter button under parameters. And then operational data is lit up. We're going to hit the menu or the select button one more time. And now here we're going to see all the data that we need to record on chart 4.1. Starting with the speed in RPM, right there, 10,050 RPM. We have the frequency at 18 hertz, we know that. The current draw is currently at 0.6 amps. And we also need the power, which right now is indicating at 0 kilowatts. The motor's not drawing enough power right now. Okay, so now that we've collected the data, what we're going to use this data for is to plot a fan curve. We're going to plot two fan curves, one fully open with the dampers and one with the dampers half open. And now we're going to be able to troubleshoot to see if the fan inside this VAV box is correctly sized using the data that we've collected. 